Hey everyone, I'm Sly here with Flo, and today we're going to talk about Kamoko Ture. Flo, last week was OTAs. He looked good. He had one nice pressure against Jalen Moore. Just went right by him. Made Jalen Moore look like a revolving door. What are your thoughts on this? Are you excited about him and the pass rushing ability that he has? Yeah, man, I'm I'm freaking really excited to see the freaking uh, this pass rush uh, from Ture, man. We said it when he first came to Niner visits and uh, we're like, we were said how this guy's an elite pass rusher. He gets to the quarterback a lot, puts a lot of pressure on them. We said a guy who I really liked, I know you really liked Arden Key. He had a higher pressure rate than Arden Key. So to be able to replace a guy like that on the cheap, we said this guy's also a second round talent. So you know he could play. The only thing that uh, ever stopped him was he had that broken foot, was it? So that was the only thing really holding him back. And I think now that he's healthy, he's going to add uh, more depth to this uh, defensive line and man I'm really excited about this but what about you Sly? Yeah man obviously I'm really excited he actually had a higher um, pass rate as far as um, who was it a uh, Samson Ebucom as well so he had a really high pass rate last year that was his best year it was his best year last year he, I believe it was five and a half sacks is he was hitting the quarterback I remember one play where he just freaking beat the crap out of Penny Sewell <laughs> and then he hit the quarterback quarterback threw the ball straight up in the air interception so the guy has power and this guy he's been working hard man and he takes pride in his work because you see him on Instagram and he's posting videos of him in practice like going around the corner and stuff so I love what he's doing I love that he has that swagger to him like you know what I'm here baby he was no scrub man he was a second round pick uh, from Rutgers and he's he means business man it looks like he's in the best shape of his life he looks absolutely yoked you know and the fact that he did it to Jalen Moore Jalen Moore is a guy who I really like fifth round pick out of I believe Western Michigan a guy who I think is going to actually play either left guard or right guard this year, you know. And he played tackle in college, too. And, and in preseason last year, he was playing tackle. So I have really high hopes for Jalen Moore. I think, you know, he's just going against an elite pass rusher. And if you put Jalen Moore inside guard center, guard center, whatever he plays, he's going to do better. So the fact that he's doing this, man, that we heard that he just went right by him, Kamikatore, I'm excited, man. I really think with the pass rushers we have, him, Samson, Amucom, Nick Bosa, plus you add in Kerry Hyder to the mix, <laughs> along with Jordan Willis. Oh my gosh, dude. That's, we're ready to feast, man. We are ready to feast, and I'm super excited, uh, especially if you could get exactly what uh, Ture did last year, that five and a half sacks. We'll take it right there. Five and a half sacks. We will take it. And man, I'm excited that he's starting off really hot in OTAs, looking really good. Yeah, man, like you said, man, our depth is crazy scary on that defensive line. I think Nick Bosa is not going to have to see quite as many double teams because everybody on that line, man, they could pretty much get after that ball. So uh, teams aren't going to be able to do what they've done the last couple of years to Bosa where they were constantly sending that double. So I'm really excited, man. I feel bad for these opposing <laughs> quarterbacks that are going to be getting <laughs> tagged this year. Uh, anything else, Lai? Yeah, absolutely, man. I forgot one important guy. <laughs> the guy we just picked up, Drake Jackson, out of the draft. Drake Jackson, that guy was a beast in college he didn't go crazy like like all these sacks but every year five and a half sacks five and a half sacks five and a half sacks he was consistent man and the fact that at ucla him as well he went down to i believe 240 to play linebacker you put his ass at 268 270 build him up this guy's gonna be a beast so you have him with Ture together man on one side oh my gosh i'm excited guys this might be the best pass rushing team we've had since Kyle Shanahan has been here. So I'm excited, man. Let, let the boys eat, man. Let the boys freaking eat. Let's go, baby. All right, you guys let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.